Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Michelle. In this video we are going to discuss putting your class matrix on both your members and your public site. So here on the first tab I have opened is the member side and I am logged in and on my second tab over I'm logged in as an administrator. So after you log into your member site I want you to go ahead and click on wherever you have your class matrix. I have mine under a widget here so I'm going to click on classes. And I've already put in some classes for next year and you can see it's just listing them alphabetically. So now what we want to do is we want to put it into a matrix. And a matrix can look very different um, for many groups. So what I always suggest to groups is to take a piece of paper, draw out a matrix and see how you want your classes to be listed. So the way I show it to you today may not be the way you want to do it, but work with it and see how um, it works for your group and if you need more help as an administrator you can always call in for some training. So let's go over to our administrative site and you're going to click on classes on the left navigational bar here and then you're going to click on class matrix to set up your matrix. Once here at the top you see a plus matrix so that's where we're going to add a matrix. You can tell here under the matrix names that I have several matrices already set up from previous years. So let's go ahead and click on uh, matrix at the top and then we're going to give it a name. So we'll call it 2021-2022 classes first hour. So I'm going to do my matrices by hour and I'm going to go ahead and click on the save icon here. Now that I've created that, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create columns and rows. But to save time in this video, I've already created columns. My columns are going to be um, the grades and my rows are going to be the classrooms. And even if you don't know the classroom numbers where you know your classes are going to be for next year, you can still just put in classroom A, B, C, D, E, or F. And then once you have registration finished, you can then go back and you can move your classes around to the um, classrooms that they would fit into. Okay, now that we have the matrix set up with the columns and the rows, we're going to go over to classes and rosters on the left navigational bar here. Once here, um, you'll notice that some of the classes are already in a matrix. These are previous years and some aren't. Um, so I'm going to filter out the classes that are not located in the matrix anywhere because those are next year's classes. So I'm going to click on filters at the top here and I'm going to go to matrix and the ones that are blank and then I'm going to apply the filter. One of the things you'll notice is that all my classes that I created and copied now do still say 2020-21. Um, you can uh, bulk edit that and change it once you set up the academic year. The academic years are set up under your settings. So if I clicked on settings it would be under grading and this is where you would add another academic year. So let's just do that now. So let's add an academic year at the top here and this will be 2021-2022. And let's say it starts September 7th and it goes till May 17th. Okay, let's take you back to classes and rosters. We'll do select all classes and then we'll bulk edit. Then we'll scroll down here to the academic year and we'll change it to 2021-22 which will change it for all classes and hit save changes. Okay, now let's go ahead and put our classes into a matrix. So click on your first title, Adventures in Reading. We're going to scroll down a bit till we get to the matrix and we're going to put it in our 2021-22 classes first hour and we're going to go ahead and put it in K through third for that's the grade and it's going to go in classroom D. Save changes. 
we'll go into chemistry, do one more, and this is going to go into our 2021-22 classes matrix. We're going to put it in the 9th to 12th grade, and we're going to put it in classroom F, and hit save changes. And you'll notice here that um, those classes have actually disappeared because I have it filtered right now for classes that are not in the matrix. I'm going to pause the video for a minute and do the rest of them real quick. Okay, I've put all my classes into that matrix. So let's remove our filters and let's go back to filters and then we're going to filter out the matrix 2021, 22, first hour, and then we'll apply the filter here. So now here are all my classes. And I only have a few here, so you can see um, if you look at the classroom where the location is, we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. Um, one thing I want to uh, just point out to you, I'm going to go to Adventures in Reading. Um, when you're putting in the matrix, if you put a class, if you put two classes in the same slot, one class will show up and one will be hidden. So you want to be careful of that. Um, if you have all of your classes in the matrix but you're missing one, you're like, I don't know where it went, you can't figure out which one's missing, um, what you can do is you can always go and um, download or export here all of your classes and it will show you where you have a duplication in the columns of your Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so let's go over to our member side, and this is our class registration. That was a list. We're going to refresh this page, and we're going to see the matrix that we just created. So here we go. So we have our first hour matrix with our grades on the top, and we have our classrooms on the left. You can click open and read the information for that class. This is also where registration will take place. Now, once you've created the matrix for your members, you can also choose to have it displayed on your public page as well. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out of the member side. So I'm on the public side and I'm going to go to classes. So here um, with this website, we have um, a, p a special page created for class schedules. We give a little information and then when they click on class schedules, it opens up to another page, which I'll bring over. and open it up. So as a public person I can click it open and I can read the description. I can't register because I'm not a member but I can look at all the information that's available and I can see the instructor Penny Smith here. I can click on Penny Smith and it doesn't give me any information. So let me just show you a little bit more about that. Let me move this page off of here. Let's go to the administrator site. Uh, we're going to go to the settings here on the left navigational bar for the class matrix. And you have a couple of options. You can display the all the information right here. When displaying class listing on the public side of the website, you can choose either display all information or you could display the matrix only. Right now you saw it was display all information. So let's see what it looks like when it's a display matrix only and then we'll update the general information here. And let me bring that page back over and open it up. And I'm going to go back to classes. And here we have the grid but I can't click on any of the classes. So if you want the public just to see what you're doing but not the detailed information, that's what you would check off. Okay, now, um, so say I want to go back to display all information but um, I don't want to see the instructor information. So that's what we originally had. But maybe I'm okay with it. Down here you have um, instructor display options. Check here to make the instructor's page public. So I'm going to go ahead and check it and then I'm going to update the general settings. Then I'm going to go back to the public page and click on the schedule. And here again we're offering information but when we click on the instructor information 
it pops up and it tells me what Penny Smith is teaching. But I also can click on to all instructors and it will I'll be able to see all the instructors in the co-op. So if you have photos here, they'll be able to see the photos of the instructors. They can click on any teacher and it'll show them what class they're teaching. But it doesn't give them personal information regarding that teacher. It doesn't give a phone number or anything like that. So if you want them to see all the teachers that are in your class, then you would go ahead and on the administrative site down here, you would click here to make the instructor page public. If you have any further questions regarding the matrix and how to create it, you can um, create a ticket and ask us a question or you can set up some training with one of our trainers.